Just say close your name to the audience. Taraji P. Henson. Thank you. Not to be confused with all the other Taraji's. <laughs> <laughs> so that season finale person interest was mind blowing. It just changed the game a little bit because it showed how vulnerable our heroes are. Mm -hmm. How is your character going to react to finding out these men who always come to her rescue? She's now going to have to help them out in such a way that wasn't quite foreseen. <laughs> Um, I mean, you know, that's what she does for a living. Um, and I think, in a, in a sense, she feels she owes it to them. I mean, they saved her life a couple of times. <laughs> so, um, you know, she's there for them. It's hard doing interviews for Person of Interest because you, it's so much you cannot say. <laughs> can I say that? Can I say that? I mean, you can tell us everything. <laughs> we're not going to tell. We're very, we're very nice. We won't tell anybody. You won't tell anybody. Yeah, I saw that. Who, look. who do we know? <laughs> so, what we're going to CBS Studio with you, uh, tell us something. <laughs> They're trying to get some secrets out of me. Yeah, you get him drunk, he'll tell you everything. <laughs> I got some whiskey in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. If it's not written, I'll improv the entire thing. <laughs> no, it's going to be some exciting things going on next season, and it's going to, we don't find them right away. I'll, I could, I'll just say that. I guess I can say that, right? You can say that. I can say that. Where's, where's Jonah? Yeah, look, <laughs> we don't find him right away. Yeah. Just put it that way. Finch. Out of curiosity, do you guys do any ad-libbing? Are you really. allowed that? Not really. I mean, no. pretty well. No, no they're, they're, they're pretty tight with the script in terms of because you know there's a lot of subtext that that is in the script, so they want to make sure that those beats are played as well. Yeah, so it's not very loose. <laughs> I mean, it changed the mythology of the show because now that the heroes are kind of missing in action and you guys have, your characters have to step up and find them, it's no longer just the procedural element, you've got this mythology that's kind of taken over. So, how does that affect where your characters are kind of going? Well, <laughs> it's kind of hard to say. <laughs> Without saying. Um, Can we say that? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> See what happens is if we, if, if we give away secrets, right? Jonah Nolan holds us down, and J.J. Abrams canes us. Yeah, they have a they have a dungeon where they take us. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the bad robot dungeon. How hands on is J.J. Abrams? I'm sorry. How hands on is J.J. Abrams? I think it's pretty much, I think he trusts Jonah and Gray. Um, he'll chime in every once in a while with me. I don't know about you, right. but JJ's a personal friend of mine. <laughs> and he'll chime in every now and again with an email about, you know, you're kicking ass on the show. You know, right, he says right. that to me. I don't right. know if he said I got, that to well, I got a card actually sent to my house. Oh, he sent me flowers. He sent me a Range Rover. He sent me a Range Rover. Anyway, so. Um, <laughs> that is no. a little tight for me to get into, but, you know. <laughs> No, but I'm sure. I mean, you know, behind the scenes he is, but I think he, I think he trusts Greg and not Jonah. I mean, you've got, you know, I mean, look at the movies that have, that Jonah's written and the body of work that Greg Plagman has. He's been on a number of very successful television series, and, you know, not uh, only as a member of the writing staff, but also as the showrunner. Um, so, I mean, you know, it's on top of the bottom, this thing has a, has a very good pedigree. Um, so, I don't mean, you know, I couldn't see J.J. having a, a lot of input, um, but, you know, he's, he's, he's definitely a presence there. Yeah, absolutely. He he had a lot of say over me getting hungry, actually. He told uh, Jonah to just offer it to me. He's like, there's mm. one person you should go out. Mm. <laughs> Did he say that about you? <laughs> <laughs> what happened was he called me and begged me. <laughs> and I was like, JJ, you know, don't beg. <laughs> <laughs> the level of respect I lose, don't beg. <laughs> is it exciting having a, you know, having a show? I mean, this was the number one show last year for new show, number one new show. I mean, it must be exciting to see so much excitement so quickly. Tomorrow. It was very exciting and unexpected because I remember when we did the pilot, I was like, wow, CBS is never going to pick this up. This is too dark. So I'm going to take the money and run. And, <laughs> and then the show gets picked up and I'm like, really? Okay. Like, no one was expecting it. Jonah will even say it. We None of us were expecting him to pick this up. And then it gets picked up. And then the... 
the, the, the audience's reception of it was just mind blowing. Thank you. That's the only way I can put it. Because <laughs> you know, shows you get picked up all the time. Pilots get picked up all the time, and you just you never know. You just never know. And then the amount of success this has had, I think all of us are like, whoa. <laughs> It's amazing to see too. We're in, we're in reruns right now, mm. um, and the, the show's still a top ten show in reruns. And, and you know, I'm out in the street and I meet people, and they like, "Wow, I didn't catch it when it first aired in September, yeah. but I plan on watching next year because I saw it in the reruns." You know? yeah, it's still so, gaining an audience. It's still definitely gaining, gaining legs. Yeah. Why do you think that is? What is it about this show? I think it's different from your normal procedural, you know, um, like most procedurals you show up, you know somebody's dead, now you got to figure out how to, who did it. Mm -hmm. And this one, you, you got to figure out how to stop what's going to happen. <laughs> and you don't know who, who's doing it, if they're going to be the victim, if they're going to be the perpetrator, you just don't know. So everything's kind of like up in the air. One of the things I liked about you two, or I wondered you guys find out that each other was working with, you know, the good guys. So how much fun was that to play that you didn't know, you know, you didn't know each other, each other was working? At, at, when we had the moment, you mean, in the bathroom, when we actually knew it? Well, I mean, it was, it was a great moment, but, I mean, it was... And when we shot that scene, it was like we were on hour 15, and we had like a window of this big to, to get it because this, this this show is very ambitious. I mean, with, with the amount of time that we have to shoot it, uh, the, the action, and the number of uh, characters and storylines that need to be covered, it's, it's a very ambitious show. We can go, uh, but uh, you know that that, that moment was. It was fun. tense. It was, it was tense. tense it was tense it was just because of the day that we had. Right. And just trying to, you know, I remember he was fussing. This is yeah. right. This is a powerful scene. You're gonna give us like five minutes to shoot it, yeah, we, we, <laughs> but it worked. Yeah. But it worked. It, like, we, that I didn't even think worked. we had five minutes. It was like, you know what I mean? It was like I didn't even think we had five minutes. Yeah. I said, but it worked. I can't believe this. We got this. Is like, hmm. you know, this is the, one of the biggest moments in the in the finale. We got like three minutes to shoot it. <laughs> it we have time for one question, and then we're gonna rotate them. Um, you talked about being surprised that this show was picked up. <laughs> Apart from that, how, is there a moment that was the most surprising for you being part of the show so far? I guess the surprising moment for me when I when I knew for sure the tracking and that people were really have, loving the show, the People's Choice Award, because that has nothing to do with politics. That's the people you're choosing. Right. And when we got that, I was like, Yeah, baby, yeah, yeah. seven more years. <laughs> 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 That's what I knew we had it. I was like, oh, okay, we can rest, we can breathe easy. <laughs> yeah. oh, that was great. That was a great moment. Yes. Sorry, guys, we're going to rotate them. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody.